Sylvia, selective enrollments, magnets, and charters are some of the top performing and most coveted schools in the CPS system. But one state lawmaker says she believes Mayor Johnson has plans to eventually close some of them. In a letter we obtained today, Mayor Johnson is promising not to close selective enrollment schools, but says nothing about magnets and charters. The letter was sent to Illinois Senate President Don Harmon. It states, quote, the district will not close selective enrollment schools, nor will the district make disproportionate budget cuts to selective enrollment schools. The district will maintain admission standards at those schools. Any narrative to the contrary is patently false. Now, a tweet he put out yesterday was skeptical of those schools, saying, quote, they were created to foster integration in CPS, not codify segregation. And this was in response to data showing a disproportionately high number of white and low number of black students in those schools. But Johnson made today's promise to Harmon in exchange for Harmon's vow to kill state legislation that would protect those schools from closing and from funding cuts. The reason for the bill, a strategic plan from Johnson's handpicked school board that alluded to taking money away from those schools and putting them toward neighborhood schools. So the bill protecting selective enrollment schools passed the House. House sponsor Northside State Rep Margaret Croak says she'd be disappointed if Harmon doesn't allow a vote in the Senate. She says Chicago parents should be worried that some of their children's schools might eventually close. Quote, while Harmon's letter agreement with the mayor contains some concessions, it does not protect magnet or charter schools and still allows for changes in admissions criteria for selective enrollment schools. I fully expect that disproportionate cuts will be made to magnet schools and charters will eventually be closed. Now, the Chicago Teachers Union has long lobbied against charters, as most of them employ non-union teachers. Johnson's promise not to close selective enrollment schools is only good until 2027. That is when a fully elected school board takes over. And, Sylvia, they could always decide differently. And we go back to you.